today we've heard also about Lampedusa problem and uh, migrations from Africa through Italy and all the Mediterranean Sea countries. I think that European Union should organize some kind of legal transfer organization, an organization which could, organ which could uh, take care of legal transports with all the needed goods to uh, refugees, could, so refugees could get safely, rather than organizing uh, search and rescue teams for them, as we, as we always hear about a few hundred people, I may say, in a week's time, a few hundred people may die on the Mediterranean, and some of them, we, we don't hear about it. We also mentioned a few problems. Uh, we mentioned some kind of ghetto problems, because when uh, someone migrates, migrates to the country, they always stick together. They made some kind of uh, districts, like we always know in New York, there's a little Italy, Chinatown, and so on. In each city in Europe, I think there's the same district of, of the migrants. We should try to avoid such, pro such ghettos, as I may say, and build multicultural areas where everyone could meet, see that a Turkish, my Turkish uh, neighbor is same as I'm German, for example, I'm Polish, and, uh, and so on, to avoid uh, racism and, and so on. Uh, I just wanted to say that um, multiculturalism is a good thing, as he said, but uh, some immigrants tend to feel lonely when they move to another country. So I was wondering if uh, their forming uh, groups of the people of the same country was really a bad thing because it could help them feel uh, less lonely when they move to another country. Yes, of course, uh, being lonely is the, the, the saddest part of uh, migration, but uh, building or uh, organizing such multicultural uh, living areas doesn't mean they cannot uh, organize some groups, uh, communities, but we, we just want them to mix. Now, secondly, we were speaking about education. We think that education has two major problems uh, that, are, that cause unemployment. First problem is the fact that educational system in most of the countries is old. And second of all, the educational system is usually not fitted uh, on today's needs, meaning that uh, most of the people or most of the universities, let's say so, have a, great, have a large number of, um, of students on, um, on matters that are not needed uh, in today's uh, society. So therefore, we believe that making the school systems around Europe similar would uh, lead to a greater recognition of uh, everyone's um, capacities and would, uh, would somehow increase the mobility around Europe. And also regarding this mobility, we believe that we should totally encourage this as people may not be able to find the, um, a job in their countries uh, on their, their field, but they may uh, find a job in uh, um, neighbor countries through, through project like Erasmus or Erasmus Plus. Um, also, organizing the opportunities uh, would uh, be a lot simpler through a great site that would, um, that would uh, show exactly what are the job opportunities, what are the internships, uh, the trainings, the volunteering, the volunteering uh, spaces, uh, the language lessons, and so on and so forth, uh, all the kind of um, workshops that are needed to, um, to make the youth more employed. Um, you talked about, um, about just one school system for the whole e EU, and how did you, um, would you um, manage this? Um, because every single state uh, would say, our school system is the best. Thank you, I fully agree with you. There was also um, somehow heated debate on this matter in um, our, um, our committee. But um, we believe that the best school system will not be decided by each country, but would be decided by um, uh, an organization from the EU that is capable to do that. Also, we believe that every educational system from each country has some good points and some bad points. Therefore, um, we still believe that no country sh could apply exactly the same, the school educational system, but we believe that um, the main points, the, the basic um, classes should be thought around the EU in order to increase that mobility and to ensure that at least um, the youngsters have uh, some sort of a basic job. <laughs>